How was the gym? Sweaty. Sweaty? Leg day, cardio day, tire day. Yeah, I, I, today I feel very tired. Yeah. Yeah, I would say, you know, I know we, uh, we're a little offbeat this morning. Yeah. You know, and I kind of feel like, you know, I kind of still need to sit in my emotions. Um, you know, because I'm really just feeling emotionally depleted. I think that... Uh, yesterday um, was just a lot. Right. I do offer you grace in that moment. I know that was not necessarily your best self. And sometimes that happens. You know, we've been there. And I'm not going to hold that moment against you or hold it over our marriage because that's not fair. But I'm, the emotions just aren't dissipating as quickly yeah. as I would like them to. Yeah, and I I, I would say I'm, I'm in the same boat but I think everything that you are feeling is fair, you know, and I understand, you know, the contradictory topic that we were talking about. And I think just with the long day that we had and everything else, you know, it's a real excuse, um, you know, but I really, I, I really did just drop the ball. I think moving forward, I just need consistency in your words mm -hmm. because I feel like um, I haven't backtracked or changed words on what I say to you. And I would just appreciate that from you moving forward as well. Not to just push all the blame on you because I know I got very vocally dramatic with you, but I think my frustrations were just so high that I didn't really feel like you were my husband. I honestly just felt like you were a man that I met six days ago. And I understand that I think that's really fair to feel that way. You know, because, you know, I wasn't being your husband in that moment. We both had moments where we weren't our best selves, but I've also seen a lot of moments where I feel like you were at your best. And um, I think that at your purest, most genuine, that's who you really are. Thanks. You know, we got this.